Happy Victory in Europe Day! I hope everyone's having a good day so far. It has been a really nice week. The children and adults of Newlands Primary School have been very active with taking part, particularly in this week's challenge. And in this week's challenge, we asked everyone to make decorations to use for their celebrations for VE Day today. So let's have a look at some of the amazing things that the children and adults have created. Aren't they brilliant? Wow, what fantastic homes you're gonna have today with all these lovely decorations. And I know for all of you who have put them up in your windows, people are going to really enjoy them as they walk past. So well done to all of you. You should be very proud of yourselves. And thank you parents for helping your children in creating such amazing things. Now, it's time for our very special awards. And the first award is going for gold. We have been really pleased with the work the children have been doing. Remember, if you are doing work at home, whether it be from our online lessons or from the work packs, you can email your class teacher their, some of the work so that they can see. They really like seeing that. In order to do that and you don't have the teacher's email, just call the school office and they will be able to give you your teacher's email address. All right, so now on with the awards. So. The first one we have is for going for gold is an Oxford class. And in Oxford class, this one goes to McKenzie for persevering with his home learning. Well done, McKenzie. I'm really pleased to see this. 
Now in Cambridge class, we have Ewan, and this is for his fabulous space project and the paper mache space helmet that he's created. Wow, Ewan, what a fantastic way to do the space project. Excellent, I know your teachers are proud. In Edinburgh class, we have two people. The first one is Lacey, and Lacey is for making uh, for working hard at home and completing the work from the home learning. Well done, Lacey. And the second person is Jack W for working hard to complete the work from the home learning videos and sending them to your teacher. I know that Miss Keenan is very pleased to see all the work. In Cardiff 1, we have Caden because he has done loads, tons of fantastic work and has been setting his own extra writing task. And this has really impressed your teacher about the passion you have for your learning. Well done, Caden. Next, we have in Cardiff 2, Joshua for his hard work at home. He started to even learn how to do yoga. In Liverpool class, we have Scylla for 100% effort in all of her home learning. Well done, Scylla. We also have in Liverpool, Zach, and this is for his super duper sock puppet that he made. Well done, Zach. In Hall 1, we have Ella for her good conversation that she had with Mrs. Jackson when Mrs. Jackson rang this week. Well done, Ella. In Hall 2, we have Maria. This is for her amazing work during home learning and going over and above what was asked of her. She had amazing work this week. Well done. In York, we have Zuzana G. And this is for her hard work that she has put into completing all the work in the home learning packs. And in Leeds, we have Alice for completing a wide range of activities every week. Well done, what an amazing group of children we have for our Growing for Gold Awards. You definitely need a big round of applause. Well done. Now, Year of Respect Awards. For the Year of Respect in Oxford class, we have Millie for her huge amount of self-respect with her home learning task. Well done, Millie. In Cambridge class, we have Callum for helping Miss Hawk and Mrs. Callahan to read Cosmic to the class. Excellent. In Edinburgh class, we have two people. The first one is Ethan for completing lots of work at home, but also learning new skills needed for life and helping his mom. Well done, I know your mom must be very proud of you. We also have Layla for writing thoughtful and caring letters to her grandparents in French. She's worked so hard to write such beautiful words and now she's waiting to hear back from her grandparents and they're gonna write back to her in French. In Cardiff 1, we have Madison for being really consistent with logging into Times Table Rock stores over the last few weeks. Well done, Madison. In Cardiff 2, we have Poppy for her creative work at home and showing lots of self-respect by always having a smile on her face. Well done, Poppy. In Liverpool class, we have Eric for caring for the world and environment that we live in. Well done, Eric. We also have Zoe for her super poster to celebrate the E-Day. Well done, Zoe. What a fantastic poster you did make. In Hall 1, we have Casper for looking after himself and working hard. In Hall 2, we have Lacey for persevering with being at home and trying to get out and about during these strange times. In York, we have Zuzana K. And this is for her respect for herself and persevering to make a lava lamp. 
In Leeds, we have Teddy for listening to his mom to concentrate long enough to start writing his own name. And in Chester class, we have Isaac for his brilliant VE Day activities that he's been making with his family. Again, another fantastic group of children doing some wonderful things with our year of respect. Well done. Big thumbs up to all of you. Excellent. Now, one of the things that I need to remind you about for next week is that on Tuesday, we have the big sing. And there's the song that we've been learning. And it's on the school website. I'll put the address, the, the website address, in the description of this video. Go there. It's an, on YouTube. You can practice singing it and make a little recording of you singing some of it or your family singing some of it. Tweet it out on Twitter or send a copy, a little clip to your teacher so that we can share it with the world as part of this huge, big sing. What a wonderful way for us to celebrate things next week. All right, people. I guess it's time for us to go. I hope that you have a really good rest of your day and a nice celebration at home for VE Day. And I do hope you have a lovely weekend. I look forward to seeing all of you on Monday for your next challenge. Bye for now.